Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mustafa. Uh, I will show you here how to model the cohesive type behavior between two surfaces in Abacus. I will focus here on Abacus uh, explicit, but it is equally applicable to Abacus standard. Uh, and I understand that this uh, could be troublesome to uh, some people. I struggled with it for a while before someone here uh, on YouTube showed to me, but it was uh, a part of uh, a very long video it was not the focus of the uh, of the um, video itself but here i will just go through this in a bit of, of detail after i understood it so um, what we have here is we have two parts uh, actually oh no, we have one part that's a solid part here but i assembled it twice so that i create this sort of, uh, of uh, surface uh, to surface contact between these two uh, between the two blocks uh, and then I created here a step a, a dynamic step <coughs> uh, and the, the type of load applied is uh, basically I am fixing the base here and then applying vertical displacement at a rate uh, of something that's not the point uh, so this left block will move down in relation to this uh, uh, block to the right. The troublesome with Abacus is that if you go and they say create interaction, so if you go to the interaction and uh, and we say create interaction, number one, it's not surface to surface, it has to be uh, general contact. But even with this, if you go and they choose general contact, and then you come to this area here between the between the two blocks and the specified. Uh, as a <coughs> cohesive uh, property, so it's cohesive interaction, uh, Abacus will give you an error that, that this property doesn't match the type of interaction. Uh, but there is a, a, a way around it uh, that I will show you. So the first thing is uh, you, you need to create what some people call it a fake interaction property. So if we, if we go to the manager here, and then I called it here. That's fake property. So it's, uh, it's just just anything here, basically. I chose here to be a normal behavior. It it this is not going to be used in Abacus, but it is a way to evade uh, uh, the error that that Abacus normally produce. Uh, so, but but this could be anything. It could be tangential or it could be normal. So I opted here to choose a normal <coughs> a normal behavior. Uh, like I said, this is the fake thing. But the cohesive property is here, so you create two properties. One of them is fake to trick Abacus, and the other one will bear basically the uh, cohesive properties that uh, you are interested in. If we edit it here, so uh, I put, I added normal behavior, and then I have the cohesive behavior. I'm not going to spend time on the type on the cohesive behavior, and uh, this is the damage uh, that you can use. So whatever parameter you're happy with for the cohesive uh, behavior, that, that should be fine. So you have the initiation, uh, and you have here also uh, the evolution of the damage, uh, how, how the damage will will uh, will evolve, evolve it, um, in the process. Uh, I'm using here energy, but you can use displacement. Again, this is not the point. So <coughs> so, so basically to do this, uh, what, what you do is if you go to the interaction, uh, this is the interaction that I have created. I'll edit it for you here so that you see what happened. So it has to be all with self. So you ch check this one. And then you come here in the global property assignment and you choose the fake. And this is the thing that will will help you uh, escape the error that Abacus produced. And then you come to the individual property assignment item. If you haven't created anything here, it, this will show zero item, but here I have one item. So what you do is you click this one, and uh, this will give you uh, the surfaces available and also the, uh, the the properties available. So let me just move this to the right here. So if you if you if you <coughs> if you see this here, so I have surface one. Uh, surface one is I assigned it to the uh, surface of the. Uh, block to the right and the surface two, uh, I basically uh, assigned it to that to the left. So I'm choosing I'm choosing surface one or surface two, and also you choose the cohesive uh, property. 
uh, which you created, and then you say go, which I already had here. So if if I deleted this one, all I will do, I'll just do like this, and then I would have I would have this uh, assembly with the cohesion. So I would have the surface one, which is the surface of the block to the right, surface two, which is the surface of the block to the left, and then the cohesive property that I have created before beforehand. Uh, that's it's as simple as that. Uh, and then you would be ready to basically uh, apply the uh, apply the load. So, like I said, the load in my case here was just the simply the this vertical this vertical movement. So, if you like to see the damage, so you need in the field output, uh, you need to make sure that you check some of the stuff here. Uh, I basically have checked here this the damage initiation criteria and also this big thing here which is the maximum traction damage initiation uh, that's based on stress and the one below is uh, based on displacement uh, and, and so on and, and so forth so that you can you can see it uh, by the way some other people can opt to choose a, a cohesive element to represent the interaction so it, it can work and it, it may give you similar result either use cohesive element or cohesive uh, uh, behavior meaning cohesive uh, property for the interaction which I am using here so when you when you do the analysis so here the, um, the, the analysis and it came successful uh, the intention is not to show you how to run this I presume you know it if you go to the results uh, so yeah, I finished the analysis here I'm applying the load over a period of time so this is why I have 20 frame here uh, but uh, this is basically uh, let us go again and see the visualization this is the visualization uh, and this is the failure at the interface as you can see I'm using this uh, parameter uh, but uh, okay so this is the here as you can see uh, this is the animation of the uh, relative movement between the two blocks uh, so it's it's simple but like I said the clue to make this successful is to create this fake property that uh, that you have to evade <coughs> you have to evade abacus with uh, hopefully you find this useful and uh, good luck everyone